Hey, it's James, and welcome to Games Plus James. Now, today we're going to be looking at a game called Ride to Hell Retribution. As you can see, it's been getting some pretty good review scores out there, so I thought, why not come on here on the YouTubes and share it with some people out there, share all that fun that's just to be had with this game. So, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so here it is, Ride to Hell Retribution. Let's give it a go. The music is pretty damn rocking. Uh, oh, what the? What is this? That's like the tiniest handgun in the whole wide world. Why would anyone ever in the history of mankind want a gun that small? The look at the trigger, it's so small. How would you possibly even use such a thing? Oh god. Uh, yeah. This tiny little handgun is probably the only intentionally funny thing in this game. If the rest of the game had this kind of slightly tongue in cheek humour, it might have been kind of fun. Here's a clue. It doesn't. Anyway, let's just get on with this. Okay, let's see. New game. Will be a badass biker. Okay, let's just wait for loading. Yeah, the loading. There's lots of loading in this game. Uh, a lot, a lot. And to make it worse, once it finishes loading, you have to actually press a button to start anything. It doesn't automatically load into the next scene like most sensible things do. But anyway, let's start this thing up. Oh, we're on a cool bike. Rocking along. Oh yeah! Okay, and looks like we're on some kind of gun turret. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. After three seconds, I'm dead. That, uh That's just... Welcome to Ride to Hell. Okay, do this again. This time we're gonna... Oh, barrels explode. Here we go. Okay, well we're surviving for like more than three seconds this time, so that's a good sign, right? I, I assume I have to blow up all these guys? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're just having a bit of a wave. Or a reload, I don't really know what that is. Um, shoot. Oh, I'm dead. What? What? Oh my god. It's not like I had any way to block or anything. And what kind of reload animation is this? So he does a stand there and just wave his hands around. Hey guys, I'm up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to shoot me? God damn it. We've already died twice and we've made it about 10 seconds into this game. Either this game is going to be really hard or it's just a goddamn pile of So eventually you manage not to die and the thing just kind of ends and you move on to the next bit. Turns out this is all just part of some kind of crazy flashback and you just... Or flash forward, I don't really know what it is. You just kind of do this bit, you fight some guy, it goes on a little bit more. At least it ends with a cool jump over a helicopter though. Okay, well that was kind of an abrupt cut at the end there, but anyway, let's just move on. So this is where the actual game story starts. We find out our main character, Jake, is returning to Tupexo. I don't know where Tupexo is, but anyway, from Vietnam, where everybody is an asshole. You look like shit, Jake. Yeah, I feel like shit, man. We're quickly introduced to his little brother, who supposedly had a hard time while Jake was gone, but I don't know why you, why you would even care, because he goes around saying stuff like this. You look the same too, Jake, but your face is, is kind of weird. Since you left, she's kind of been the closest I've had to you, I guess. Except she's smart. Real smart. But now that Jake's back, I want to go! It's no big deal for me to take him. We could just... Yeah, that makes sense. He just gets up and leaves, even though Jake was offering to help him. Sensible characters. So after this little scene, you go chasing after Mikey on your bike. Yeah, that happened. We'll come back to this bike riding bullshit. You go chasing after Mikey, and you run into his other gang of bikers, one of which is just like the creepiest dude who ever existed. Skinny little old baby cow, ain't he? <laughs> you ever slice an ear off of a baby cow? They scream and scream. It's funny. So after he's done freaking you out, you try to ride your bike away, but they catch up to you. Let's not even get into the hell. And then some Irish dude just kills Mikey. Toledo Conway. Never trust an Irish man. 
But just in case you didn't get the full weight of Mikey's debt, they replay it straight away. Straight away! But ever so slightly different. You get shot and get better, and that's the basic setup of how the game is. It's revenge! So we spent all the time going through all that, and now we're just in a simple little revenge story. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I've been doing this for like half an hour now. I've been cutting out like all the terrible bike riding bits. Yeah, let's talk about the bike riding bits for a bit, will we? So at first, the bike riding seems pretty okay. It's not ridiculously bad, but then something like this happens. Hey look, there's all these cool pipes I get to drive up. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, uh, okay, I crashed. That's okay. It's okay, we'll reset and... Oh. Yeah, when you're playing this game, this happens a lot. Whenever you crash into something, the bike slows, but it doesn't stop. There's no stopping. If you get caught in a bit of an environment, you just kind of get reset. And when I say no stopping, I mean it all. Look at this, for example. Driving along, driving along. Oh, look at these kind of things. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Some kind of crash or something? I'll just stop for a second and uh, I'll, I'll just turn around. No, oh, no, I can't turn around. Sorry, I'm just sliding. Just try going this way. Oh, no, I've been reset. Oh, well, that's helpful. Still can't. No, no, I still can't do it. I'm almost there. Oh, no. Okay, no. That I just give up. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm out of here. I'm going. And then, of course, there's the bike to bike fights. Half the time, the buttons don't even work. I mean, I'm pressing the right buttons, but nothing's happening. Eventually, I just worked out that if you just slow down a little bit, the other guy will just automatically lose. And then explode. Yeah, every time you're fighting a guy on the bike and you win, they just start to run into the side of the road and just explode. Doesn't make any sense. Sometimes they explode, but the bike just kind of keeps going. Perfectly fine. It's alright. Is it the guy that explodes? I don't know. And then something like this happens. You do get to do some pretty cool power slides though. Power slides! But the fights don't stop there. We also get to fight on foot. Yeah. It's just about as much fun as it is on the bikes. It's sort of like the Batman Arkham Asylum kind of style of fighting, which like every game seems to be using these days, but much, much, much worse. You've got a punch and a kick, but it's hard to know why you would want to use either one. Supposedly the kick is for breaking guards so you can punch people, but it does plenty of damage, well, what seems to be the same amount of damage as the punching anyway, so you can just spam that and it's all good. Now this is good game design. And don't worry, you don't get to just punch people in the face over and over again. You get to shoot them in the face too. Yeah, that's right, shooting. And it's just as much fun as punching them. As in, it's not fun. It's just, it's no fun. There's no fun to be had here. This game, no, just no. No fun. No fun at all. I mean, you get the option to hide behind scenery if you want to, but there's no real need to. You don't need to do that. You can just stand there and they can shoot you away at you. Eventually you'll start taking damage, but it takes a long time. But you're not the only one who can soak up all those bullets because the bad guys do a pretty good job of it too. I mean, if I was the guy and I got shot, I'd go down pretty quickly. But these guys you can shoot like a hundred times or something, I don't even know. But unless you shoot them in the face, you don't even need to worry about it. But luckily, it's really easy to shoot them in the face because all they do is crouch in high band things and you can just point the reticle where their head was and they'll stand back up and they're dead. No need to worry about it. So yeah, and occasionally when you're fighting people, you get to do this. So this angry build up shout thing, whatever the hell it is, just leads to some button mashing stuff like we had with the bikes before so you know, again, sometimes the buttons work, sometimes they don't, it's pretty unreliable. So what's all this amazing fighting and running and shooting and biking for? Well obviously it's to avenge your brother but also the ladies. Yeah, so the ladies in this game seem to serve just one purpose. You look like you need some oil. Wanna get greasy? Can you guess what it is yet? This is before pleasure, sweetheart. So out of the first three women you meet in the game, the first one is a prostitute, and the others will just have sex with you at the drop of a hat. Fully clothed sex though, with no sound. So you know, it's not too sexy. We wouldn't want any of that going on in the game. And this woman here, she starts out hating you. Because you're just being sexist. Uh, I don't ever recall seeing a woman fixing a truck before. But then you go Take beat up her ex-boyfriend for her. Thanks. What the hell are you look? And she just decides to have another terrible, fully clothed sex scene with you. There's just it's why? Why? Why is this even in the game? What is what? What? Why? 
Right? That's enough for me. I've had enough of this game. All you do is like drive, cutscene, drive, cutscene, drive, cutscene, shoot a little bit, cutscene, cutscene, drive, drive, cutscene. It's just, it's no fun. It's like an, it's almost like it's an open world game, but there's no open world around you. You know, all those little fun side activities you get in an open world game? They're just not here. It's just, there's no fun to be had in this game. Just no fun, no fun at all. No, just no. Thanks for watching the video, I'll be back soon with some more action, but in the meantime, why not hit that big blue subscribe button right there. Look how big it is and enticing, all you want to do is just go and click on it. Just click, 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 it's so easy. And while you're at it, sure, why not follow me on Twitter too, at GamesPlusJames. And you can send me messages and I can send you messages back and say things like, yeah, this game really sucked. And such. See you soon!